Good morning everyone. So we got the diff back yesterday and it's all locked up now as you can see. Both uh, splines spin together. Oh yeah, fully locked now. So today's plan is we're going to take the cover off and kind of spray it with some brake clean and just get all the excess uh, welding material out of there, clean it out, fill it up with some fluid, slap it back in, and hopefully we can do some donuts today. That's the plan. I haven't done a donut in a year and a half, so I'm just itching to go pop the clutch. So it looks like it's just these four corners. So these gears normally would spin and meet with these gears, and now they're just locked all in place, so it spins in unison as one. So this edge looks pretty clean. I'm gonna spray some uh, brake clean. And just get all the crap out of there before we fill it up with fluid. Now we gotta prep the cover of the diff. Whew. Make sure we don't have any little bits of RTV, so we'll scrape it out. Pro tip, use an old zip tie to get in this crevice. And it actually fits perfectly, the shape. And then you can just hold it steady and Scrape off any excess gasket. All right, so you want to make sure you get the gear oil gasket maker because it's obviously using gear fluid. And so we'll just try to get a continuous bead all the way around it. Too weak. All right, here we go. Okay, now you see we have a continuous bead all the way around. Now we'll slap it on there and just go hand tight before we torque it down. Kind of line them up. Of the bolts on. Now that we have the cover back on, we gotta fill it. And it's a lot easier to fill when it's out of the car than in the car, so we're gonna fill it right now. So this is the fill hole and this is the drain hole. Don't get them confused. Naturally the fill hole is higher than the drain hole. Okay. Oh, that smells so nasty. <laughs> Too small, but whatever, it'll work. So we just need a quart and a half. And you just fill until it overflows. Oh no! Now, now what do I do? This broke off. Ah, now I have to run back to the store maybe. Maybe. Okay, we'll be back. So what we ended up doing is we just tilted it on its side. And then we just took a funnel and poured it straight in, um, guesstimating where 1.5 quarts would be. Roughly still a little bit above half a gallon. And then we just kept doing trial and error until it started to pour, spill out a little bit, which when this is level, oh, 
there it comes. I don't want it to spill out. So we're just gonna plug it out for now and then put it in the car. And this is pretty level, so we'll just call it good as far as full. And I'd rather have a little extra fluid than not enough. Let's try to get this thing in. So we're most concerned with getting this pin. You have to get it in here first and I'll kind of hold the weight. Alright, diff is in, drive shop is in, now I just gotta slap the axles back on, and we can go shred. Freaking stoked. Alright, let's get this axle in there. Okay, got it all put back in. Both wheels spin together. Oh yeah. Let's go test it. I'm <laughs> sorry.